What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video by me, Tina. OG K-pop since 1998. I want to thank y'all for being so nice to me in the comments whenever I first reacted to From Is Nine with DM. The reason why I say that is because I was afraid that people were gonna be like how I us I usually get whenever I check out a group for the first time, and it's a group that's kind of been around a while, but I haven't got to them yet. They'll be like, "Oh, you call yourself OG K-pop stan, but you don't know this name, you fake." So, but y'all were really nice to me and suggested a lot of stuff, which is great because I feel like I've gotten a pretty solid, hmm, what are they about feel with Promise Nine. But a lot of y'all also told me that before I check out their older stuff that they just released a B-side performance video and also said that a lot of their magic and their music and their vocal talents and stuff or their um, versatility overall is in the B-sides. So yeah, they have this performance video for their song Escape Room, which I haven't heard yet. I'm excited to hear a new song and see how they do with this. So let me go ahead and zip it and hit the play button for Promise Nine's Escape Room performance video. Quick pause, before we get started, I would like to give a little shout out to all of my Captain Jack's pearls over my Patreon for the extra X11 support. I hope y'all know how much I appreciate y'all's extraness. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. All right, let's get it. They are okay. Okay, uh, can I restart? Is that okay? They are down with the smoothness here from the outfit to the freaking contrasty of the shadows. I love this minimal look and the sound too. It sounds so evening time. Okay, th this is chill. This is very chill and smooth. I love the two different groups. Hey. Ooh. Her aura. Ooh. Oh, this little uh, pre chorus is magical. Yo. Yes. Nice. Oh, this song is so classic B-side feels. It's so chill. Uh-huh. Nice. Seriously, this pre chorus is so magical. Yes. Okay. Mm. This is a very sensual sounding uh, song. That graphic of the shadows. Okay. A little bit of a tease there. Okay, fun. That bounce. Nice. that little chill move there okay one of the members really makes me think of boa mm. 
Okay. Goodness. And this ending color too with the teal and the purple. Okay, yeah. So first of all, this song is definitely very classic B-side. When I say classic B-side, from my experience of listening to Korean music since 1998, a lot of B-sides have this very sensual, laid-back kind of vibe versus the main tracks are always the more super energetic, vibrant, like musically vibrant. And yeah, so with that being said, this is very classic and I really enjoy it. It has like a very sensual feel to it. The whole higher notes kind of feel. I'm no singer, so I'm not going to say any like proper term as far as singing. But the whole higher notes and it's soft and it goes with this kind of a feel of the song. And with their whole kind of outfits and way they're kind of moving really suave, very slick, just very fitting for this kind of song. So with performance videos, I usually just watch it once and because it's just a performance video, you know, I want to get the performance effect. It's not a dance practice where it's one straight shot of the choreography. However, there was a lot of stuff in here that I do want to at least appreciate. So I'm going to watch it a second time if you're all cool with that. And I'm just going to pause and talk just about certain parts that I like. Right off the bat, this whole shape thing here, helping highlight the dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm, that domino there, the shadows moving with it, it's beautiful. And I like the two different groups that we have here. And I noticed that they do that a lot where they separate the members to create different groups to help highlight certain different parts of the song. Like their flow that they're doing here is different from what they're grooving to here. So I already appreciate that right off the bat. Seriously, this song is really, really easy going on the soul. Mm -hmm. The fact that they start out in this straight, super straight line, and all of a sudden as they go, the line kind of comes alive and uh, staggers or breaks is very cool. Constant movement. Mm -hmm. Gosh. The color changes of the video too. Okay, that move I like a lot. The color changes of the video helps uh, change up the mood of how I feel too. And I love this whole hip rotation here. That, that's so nice. It, it helps highlight that part. I didn't notice it off the bat in the song. She reminds me of Boa. I like that. The song starts with that boom, dun, dun, dun. So they hit, they use that move to kind of hit that part, like to help highlight that hit into the chorus. And the rest, it kind of grooves into the song. Mm. Da, 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 ta. Very puzzle piecing stuff. And everything they do, like they have very sharp, clean angles. Very nice. They're doing it while they're traveling in formation too. Mm hmm nice. Dun, 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 circle, then they circle again. They really, it's, it's really wonderful with how well they moved as a group. Like the whole, whether it's like their whole sharpness puzzle piece stuff or their whole together of doing the circular motion. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. This song is seriously so good, guys. Is this how their B-sides sound? Yes. Uh-oh, the hair on that. That's nice. That little tutting section and their hands do like this thing. Yeah. A lot of nice little intricate details. I really like her voice. That's nice. So uh, right here, it's her part. I'm assuming the because she starts it the whole this right, and it's her part. The member shine. So as she starts it, they do like this domino here, and as it travels through, she's already like in the middle by the end of the domino. Oh, 
god, this is such a beautiful part. That freaking high note, y'all hear that? Yes! Ooh. Gosh. Love it and the effects of the shadow. Gosh, dang. <laughs> There's like formation kind of changing here. Like I see like a triangle, triangle, triangle forming. And then the fact that we have kind of two different things going on, like there's this, and then there's like this line in the back. Mm -hmm. This bounce matches this part of the song really well. Nice. This is so nice. So oh, one thing I wanted to say uh, about the shadows earlier. I think having shadows in the video, from my perspective, I'll, um, it would make it more stressful for me to get things clean because it's like if you're in the back or on the side, you're kind of almost thinking, oh, it's, it's okay if my angle is not right. Nah, the shadow is going to call you out. So um, the fact that it was just even perfect in the shadows is very telling. Mm -hmm. See the light change here? It's like a pull down movement. Movement? I meant to say moment, moment and move at the same time. So I said movement. Promise Nine got me creating words. Mm -hmm. Yes, this freaking ending groove. Yes. Let me see that. That, 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 that dip. That dip, we see that dip happening. We see, I don't know their names yet, but we see her like doing this little thing on the end. It's just a nice visual travel there. Wait, let me see. Did they do like a wave thing or thing to like help highlight that? That's very cool. Yes. Freaking beautiful. Look at that shot. Like they're performing for a performance video. It's not modeling hour, but it's modeling hour all the time clearly here. So another thing that I just noticed, the song kind of has a very 90s R&B-ish kind of feel to me when I'm hearing it a second time now whether it's uh, American R&B or Korean style R&B from back in the day, it just has that feel. And back in the day, like mid to late 90s, this whole uh, pantsuit thing, and especially the satin top and tucked in with the belts, like that was very, very in. I remember wearing that all the time in junior high school, freaking long time ago. But yeah, so I don't know if that style was like a nod to like the feels of the song being very kind of almost 90s R&B-ish, but that's what I got the second time watching it. So, okay, DM to Escape Room. They're what I've heard so far from this group. And if they're gonna be this versatile from what I'm already hearing, then um, I'm so ready for more. I'm definitely gonna refer back to all of y'all's wonderful comments in my first reaction to Promise Nine to start, you know, figuring out which one I wanna watch next and stuff. But yeah, this just shows me, or it makes my interest where I was like, hmm, I, I, you know, I'm curious about this group. That's just this just heightened that feeling that much more. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video here with me on my YouTube. I hope you have a great day. And until the next video coming up, peace.